Hey there, welcome to Biz Intelligence. In this video, we will take a look at how to trim column headers in Power Query. In one of the previous videos, I have explained how to trim text of a cell in Power Query Editor. But what if you also want to trim column headers? So without wasting further time, let's head over to my laptop and see how to do that. Let's take a look at data set that I've loaded in Power Query Editor our fields called Employee ID, Employee Name and Supervisor ID. And you can see that there are additional unwanted spaces between these header names you can take a look at this formula bar and you can see those unwanted spaces are visible here you can see leading space trailing space and unwanted spaces between these two words so let's see how to remove these unwanted spaces from these column headers first step that we are going to perform is i will go to this apply step pane i will go to this promoted header step right click here and i will click on delete until end now this will use header row as a part of data set only. Now let's go back to transform and click on transpose. Now this will give me all the list of headers in one field called column one. And next step that we will perform is I will go back to add column option and click on custom column. Here I will say use text dot split function. Here I will say use this column one to split the text of this column one field and the separator will be space. Now this will split the value stored in this column one field and we will have additional column which will have values in the form of list. You can see the values of that list here where I have all the text in different cells. Same for the second cell as well where we have employee name. Now next step that we will perform is I will go back to add column, click on custom column. Now we will use list.select function and we will tell this function to use all the values stored in this custom field in the form of list. So we will go back and select custom, select values of those cells only where we have some text. So each space underscore not equal to blank. That means select only those cells where value of that cell is not blank. There has to be some text in that cell and click on OK. Now this will return us one more additional field which will have values in the form of list. But this time we will not have those additional cells where value of that cell is blank or space. Now let's go again, click on add column, click on custom column. And this time we will use text dot combine function. Now this text dot combine function will combine the values that we got from the previous step that we added new column using text dot list dot select function. So here I will go back and use this custom one field and I will say combine all the values separator will be space. Now here it will combine all the values stored in the list of each cell and click on OK. It will separate them by space. You can see our header is ready now. Let's delete these two columns that we added. Remove columns. Let's move this last column to the beginning. Move to beginning. And now we don't need this column one because we have our trimmed header here. So I will click on remove. And I will go back to transform, click on transpose. We have our headers ready. I will go back to home tab and click on use first row as the headers. And now you can see we have headers, but those headers are trimmed now and there are no unwanted spaces. Now this was this was little lengthy process. We applied three different steps. We added three different columns, but I could have added only single column combining all those three steps into one formula. But if you do in that way, that will be specific to that table. It will be stored in that table only. And if we have multiple tables to perform same activity to trim headers of multiple tables, then we will have to keep performing that activity for each table. So I would recommend you to create one custom function the way I have created here. You can see the code of this function trim headers. I have used same those steps that I applied before text.split, list.select and text.combine. These steps are used here and I have taken one input field which will be used to trim headers. So I will click on cancel and I will show you how it works. So I will go to this product master where I have fields called product ID, product name and price per unit where we have unwanted spaces in those column headers. So I will go 
and again perform those initial two three steps like remove this promote header steps and then go back to transform and click on transpose and then i will go back to add column click on invoke custom function this time and i will say use this stream headers function which takes one field as an input so i will use this column one because that contains our headers and click on ok and it will add new field where we have headers from where unwanted spaces are removed now i will right click here and click on move to beginning right click on this column one click on remove let's go back to transform click on transpose let's go back to home and click on use for the first row as a header row and now you can see we have headers where unwanted spaces are removed so this is the way that you can use to trim column headers you need to perform few initial steps like removing promoted header step and then transposing the table and then you can use this function on different tables to trim the column header text where i have used text.split then list.select and then list.combine these three different functions if you are new on our channel then subscribe us and visit our channel to watch more such videos do not forget to like and share this video with your friends thank you for watching